Induced pluripotent stem cells were originally discovered by a Japanese investigator, Shin Yamanaka, um, and the studies were followed closely by U.S. investigators um, who verified the original observations uh, and expanded them. At the present time, we do not know that these IPS cells, induced pluripotent stem cells, have all of the developmental potential of embryonic stem cells, uh, which are the gold standard. So we're um, continuing to very avidly uh, examine the properties of those cells to see if they really do contain all of the properties we expect of embryonic stem cells. There have been claims that adult stem cells have been used to cure 70 plus diseases. Um, those claims, when examined carefully, uh, are uh, totally specious. Um, many of the diseases uh, that have been claimed uh, to have been cured by adult stem cells have not been done in um, a controlled fashion. That is, they are anecdotal stories of um, uh, cures that haven't been verified in the scientific community. The ones that have been verified uh, time and time again are cures for leukemia by hematopoietic stem cells. And in fact, a number of other blood diseases have been cured by these same hematopoietic stem cells. But in reality, only one cell type, these HSC, hematopoietic stem cells, have been used to affect any cure. So um, when people say that 73 diseases have been cured using adult stem cells, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. It's in fact one very tightly um, uh, uh, and well understood group of blood diseases. Scientists and physicians have been working with hematopoietic stem cells, blood forming stem cells, since uh, approximately 1940 to 1945. We postulated the existence of these cells uh, after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombs were dropped, when people began to develop blood diseases um, from irradiation. Uh, studies carried out at Oak Ridge National Laboratories in the 1950s and 60s eventually led to a refinement of our knowledge about these cells and how rare they were. Um, and it was in the 1980s that um, the cells were really used for human therapy. Uh, there's already been uh, one Nobel Prize uh, given to Don Thomas at the Fred Hutch Cancer Center in Seattle um, for uh, delivering hematopoietic stem cells to cure leukemia. Um, they have since been used to cure tens of thousands of other patients. In comparison, we have only known about the existence of human embryonic stem cells for a little over a decade. Now it took something on the order of three to four decades to develop um, uh, hematopoietic stem cells into a therapeutically useful form to go from the laboratory into the clinic. We've had a little less than 10 years exposure to human embryonic stem cells and uh, not much more than two years for induced pluripotent stem cells. So even though we're making, I think, tremendous progress, um, it's unlikely that we're going to see these in the clinic in, we might see them in the next five years, which would still be amazing progress uh, considering the historical context. So one of the questions uh, that the public uh, might raise is 
why do we need to study uh, embryo human embryonic stem cells if iPS cells off induced pluripotent stem cells offer such tremendous potential? The reason is that, first of all, um, human embryonic stem cells remain the gold standard. We need to compare um, all other cell types to human embryonic stem cells because we know that they have the developmental potential to become anything. The second reason that we need to continue research on all fronts is because iPS cells, and all of us hope that this is just a technical issue, but the present um, generation of iPS cells cause cancer um, because of the way we have to make them. I'm sure that that will be overcome, but it will require additional research. Nobody wants to use cells in a patient population that are more than 50 percent sure of causing cancer uh, later on. Uh, there are good reasons to expect that we must continue research on all fronts, uh, that there is no magic bullet at the present time, and that in order to uh, really make progress in curing human disease, we need to continue research in adult, IPS, and human embryonic stem cells.